Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about SNMP. SNMP, and that stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. Now, why we need this SNMP? And now, and now for understanding, let's suppose that we have created a complex uh, network like shown here. So I have shown all of the, these devices as a switch, but we can have maybe a router here. We can have a switch. We can have a firewall machine here. We can have somewhere a printer, maybe IP phone. So we can have multiple devices in this complex network. And now we want a central entity here from where we want to monitor all these devices. We want to manage all these devices. Maybe we want to maybe troubleshoot these all devices if there is any problem in the network. So for that purpose, for monitoring the performance to troubleshoot the network, we needed a protocol, we needed some rules, and now those set of rules are thought that protocol is SNMP. So let's remove this first. So SNMP is a protocol which works at the application layer. And this is a protocol which is used for management and the monitoring of networking devices which we have on our network. So SNMP can be used to monitor network performance and to troubleshoot issues. Now this SNMP provides a framework. In that framework, we have the following components. The first component is the SNP manager. So SNP manager is a network management application running on a PC or a server. So we have like we have a PC here or as a server, we install the relevant required applications there. And this becomes SNP manager. And this, this host is known as network management station. So this is the first component. This is the SNP manager from where we want to manage our network. And now these are the devices which needs to be monitored. And those are known as SNP agents. So in this SNP framework, we have the SNP manager and we have the SNP agents. And these SNP agents may include switches, routers, servers, firewalls, IP phone, so these all can have in our uh, as an SNP agent. It needs to be monitored by by some some maybe network administrator using SNP manager. Okay, so these are all the devices there. We want to monitor them. So this is the second entity, and on these devices we have some database, and that database actually is stored. Uh, that database is known as Management Information Base, that is MIB, Management Information Base. And in that Management Information Base, we have some variables and those variables are describing the device configurations or device status. So let's say this device is running. On in this device, we have uh, maybe different interfaces, Gigabit Ethernet, Fast, fast Ethernet Interface. There, there are multiple variables which actually define the operation of this networking device, like the host name itself. So this device will have a name, host name. So that host name will also be saved in a, in a variable or uh, as a variable in this management information base. So all these things are available in a form of variable on these SNP agents. And now, yeah, so these variables these variables can be name, these variables can be interface status, like we can have multiple interfaces, whether that is interface is working properly or it's not working, or what is the uptime for that interface, what is the temperature, for instance, in some of the devices. So these are some of the things which we want to monitor. And those, uh, those things are, are uh, are known as variables and those variables are defined as OID. So OID stands for object ID so by which we refer uh, to these all variables. Okay, so now we have the variables which are showing the status of these devices and we have the SNP manager from where we want to 
manage or observe these devices. Now, this protocol, so these are three elements here. So SNP manager, first element, SNP agent, second element, and this management information base, this is the third element. And now this protocol, SNP protocol provides a way by which we can exchange this information, which is available in this management information base. We can exchange this information between SNP manager and the SNP agents, which are basically our devices. So in this case, this SNP manager can actually send a query message to this device that please send me the status of some of the interface, maybe fast ethernet interface. Send me the status whether that interface is working or not. And the status of that interface will be saved in some of these variables. And now the, those variables will be sent to the SNP manager. And on the SNP manager, we will have a screen here. And on that screen, this network administrator actually can see whether that particular interface is working or not. So by sitting at the remote and somewhere else, we can monitor the performance and like, and, and these all are the variables which we can access. So SNP manager can send a query message to the device being managed or monitored. So these are the device which can be managed, okay? And for this, for sending the request, port number 61 is used at this end, at the SNP agent's end. And when we are receiving that information at SNP manager, then port number 62 is used. And they generally use UDP at the transport layer. So we discussed that on SNP agents, we have some set of variables and those set of variables can be accessed from SNP manager. And for that, SNP manager uses some actions. So an SNP manager, can retrieve the information from SNP agents using get action. Get action here. And with this, so let's say, please send me your name. Please send me the status of some of the interface, for example. Please send me the uptime, for example. So these all information can be retrieved from this management information base using get action. And as a response, this SNP agent will send back the required information to this SNP manager to see this information. And in this get, for example, they can ask for the device name, they can ask for the interface status, they can ask for the routing information. These are some of the things they can be done. There are many things there which can be done. This depends what kind of variables are defined on this uh, SNP agents. And then this SNP manager, so with the help of this SNP manager, we can set some of the variables here. For example, we want to change the status of some of the interface, so like the status may be up or down. So we want to change the status of some of the interface there. So that can also be done with this SNP manager. So in this case, SNP manager can send or change the information on SNP agent using set action. So we want to set the variables and those variables are defining the behavior of this networking device that is known as SNP agent in this case. So get means we want to retrieve some information, set means we want to change or we want to send some information to SNP agent. So in addition to those messages, these SNP agents, so in these before, I mean, in the previous slide, I discussed that this SNP uh, manager is sending some requests, are going to poll all these devices. And as a result of poll, these devices are reporting this information. It means it's going to ask them. But let's say that there is some emergency. For example, this, this uh, switch has been rebooted or some unauthorized user is trying to access it. And this is some kind of emergency information and this information should be sent to this SNP manager as soon as possible. And that thing is also possible in simple network management protocol. And for that, the SNP agents can send their status information on their own, on their own without asking, without being asked by this SNP manager. 
So for that, they use trap and inform messages. So these are the immediate message are the, are the urgency messages, which are uh, which are being sent to the SNP manager. For this, they use a trap and inform. And uh, the difference between tra trap and inform is that, that for inform messages, so if this SNP, send, SNP is sending some status information using inform. So in that case, SNP manager will be sending back a feedback. But if this SNP agent is sending some trap messages, so for those trap messages, SNP manager will not be sending back any feedback. So that is the difference in between trap and inform messages. And now there are three versions uh, of SNP. So the implementation support multiple versions. This is the first version. So this is, that is SNP v1. This is the initial implementation of SNP protocol. This is the first version. And then there is a second version that is SNP v2c. This is uh, the improved version of SNP v1. And this introduce, uh, uh, this uses the security using community strings. So, so that is kind of a password there. And the third, that's version three. This provided uh, confidentiality, integrity, and authentication. So this is only the password in plain text, but now we have in this SNP v3, confidentiality, which is uh, provided using, using encryption. So nobody, nobody else can actually, can read the message integrity to ensure that the message has not been changed from SNP manager to SNP agent or from agent to manager. So this may happen that some, some of the person can change that message. And to make sure that nobody has changed that message, we need this component that is integrity. And then so also authentication. And authentication message uh, or authentication is used to verify that the sender is really the legitimate sender or to verify the identity of the source. So these are the important things which are provided in SNP v3. And this is the end of our discussion on SNP. I hope this discussion might be helpful for some of you. And thank you, thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.